Hello everybody, Bricked Up Guy here, and welcome. Welcome to Dungeon Tycoon. This game is pretty awesome. So what it is, it's a build your dungeon and make you sure that your adventurers are having a good time as well as killing them. So yes, let's jump right on into this. So we're going to call this uh, Bogs Hellish Highway. I'm going to play on normal difficulty. They have a big map, so we're going to choose the bigger map. There's probably maybe bigger ones, but maybe I just haven't unlocked them yet. But let's try 80 by 80. Let's start off with that. That seems pretty good. Uh, we won't play the tutorial because I kind of know what I'm doing already. All right, so we start off here. Our adventurers are going to come through here, and they're going to start off. Now, the goal... Actually, I do like this. This is pretty big. All right, so the goal of this um, series is I want to try to do something a little bit different. Now, most people just have a one way to go there. I'm going to start with um, a one way, but at the same time, too, we're going to make it go multiple ways. So I want to try the um, the first mechanic is I want to try to make it go in a loop. And then from this point on, if they don't loop and they just kind of choose a different way, left or right, then I know we can do three different ways to go through our dungeon, have them all come up to a boss fight, or maybe each individual different boss fight, and then something like that. So we're going to start off by having to build an entrance to our place. So we're, let's choose the uh, dungeon door. That looks pretty thick. All right. So on the inside here, we have to choose what, uh, what the enemies are going to do, what the people are going to do. So most we can do is put in a spawner for now. And then you're going to also want to put in some kind of a chest so that they gain some loot from this thing. Um, when the area is dark, um, players tend to walk slower. So if you put lights on them on the inside, they will walk a little bit faster and things will go a little bit better. So as you can see right now, we're a little bit limited for money. Um, in order to put a monster in here, we have to make sure we're not in the build menu, go over to change, and then we've got a crawler. So our first enemy here we can put as a spider. And then what else can we do? Let's go here. Let's go summon a new one. So then you get different types of areas that I guess we're going to unlock and different types of mobs that you can spawn in your world. Um, you can get upgrades later on where uh, this comes cheaper. So spawning enemies is a lot cheaper. Um, this is a, probably a bat and then that one's a skeleton. So let's go with a bat. Nice. Sounds good. Alright. So now that we got a bat I'm going to make this a uh, double room, so we're going to, this is the, um, uh, what the hell, the research, so as research, in order to, to do different things, so we got legendary heroes, respawn pedestals, and then each area has its own little tree, so we've got lots of research to do, right? This is going to give us potion rooms, so we're going to make sure that uh, we get more people coming in here, right? So let's do an 8x8 room. I kind of fancy those 8x8 eight eight rooms. Uh, those in the 10x10 uh, 10 10 ones are pretty good too. Alright, so we'll go here. We'll put in a door. Uh, sure, right underneath the light. Then we'll put in another spawner right in here. We'll turn that guy here. And we'll put in a chest right here. So now, we're going to come in. And they're going to have two mobs to fight, which is pretty good. It's a good start. Mm, we even do a third, maybe? And start kind of like getting it to do the loop around thing. I think we got enough money for that. Let's try it. Let's try it. Alright. Let's grab you. We'll move you so you're up more. And we'll put another door in. Put you on that side. And we'll put a spawner here. I'll 
Ooh, I probably won't have enough money to get another one. All right, so what we can do in the meantime is we can just abolish that door and then we'll do it next round. All right, so this is how things work. We're going to put things on medium speed. Uh, they're going to come in. They're going to fight the mob. If they survive, they will get a portion of the chest of the treasure that's in here. Obviously, if there's... Oh, I forgot to put a mob here. I'm good. There we go. Now, when this bar gets up, it's going to spawn a mob. That's perfect. So now we got a bat in there. That's good. So now, we have a chance to kill some enemies and get some souls. Souls are used for unlocking different things as well as your money. So, we're going to have to pay attention to what we're doing. And the more visitors we get to also unlock your research, right? And you want them to spend money and die at the same time. And then that way you're getting a good balance of both. Pretty good, looking pretty good. And then he died, so we gained some souls. That's good. And then now we're gonna offer them some healing potions. That's perfect. All right, and then they give you a little bit of a breakdown on how well you did on your on your thing. I usually don't pay much attention to it because it's uh, not all that important. All right, so I think what I'm going to do. So now we got the dispensers, they're pretty expensive. So let's go to monsters, let's summon a new one. Uh, this one's a rat, a skeleton, and that could be the boss spider, but I don't want to take a chance. I'm going to wait till I get the research to figure out which one is uh, the right one. So let's go with a skeleton. Alright, that's pretty good. How much was that door? And the door didn't cost much. So now we can put in a skeleton here. That's good. So now we got three rooms on the go. Now let's choose a different uh, a different one here. Let's go with more rooms. That sounds good. And then you get these like tickets as you complete things. Um, I've made it all the way to the end. And it's a thousand. Um, and then they just keep giving you points so hopefully that there's more stuff eventually that they offer past that so but right now we're gonna go to the next day we'll put it on fast forward and we'll just see how three mobs do us as the dungeon gets bigger I won't uh, I won't record like while well, I'll record it but I'll skip forward uh, to the end and that way you're not uh, watching all of this because it gets really long um, it can go for about five minutes for roughly a round and that's just too long so but this isn't doing too bad so we are getting a little bit of deaths we are getting a little bit more better rating and popularity which is good eventually you can uh, summon heroes to come and fight and then they come and check out your dungeon and you have to satisfy them and if they're satisfied well you unlock uh, some placeables there all right so we're getting a pretty good balance people are dying and all that good stuff so that's pretty good all right so what else is next uh let's go with this one's really important too because you want to get more um more souls as you uh, as you progress uh the prestige is good um go with the energy one all right so as soon as they come in this eventually is just going to be a room where they um they choose their path and they can come in and spend money right away and then go forward uh so let's just for now put down the potion dispenser so they'll kill this mob they'll go check for potions afterwards or after they check the chest or whatever so Let's uh, go after that again. So these are the new rooms we got. 10 by 8, which I kind of really like. And then the 9 by 9, 6 by 12s, which is like a corridor, really, more or less. Same with the 5 by 12s, like a corridor. They're pretty handy, too, as well. All right, so let's start with the next day. 
And beautiful, another day done. Doing pretty good, got 170 bucks there. So we probably won't uh, add anything else. We did do some collectibles, so we'll grab that. Got a dirt flooring. Ooh. All right, so let's do another day. Oh, well, we're not doing too, too bad. Making uh, 100 and some bucks a day here. We did get a new, uh, new research complete, so that's the energy potions. Which is good. So we're making 170 bucks. That's not bad. Not bad. All right. So the next thing we want to get, uh, we do have 10 souls, so we can get some more monsters. We'll take that one. And then you still get to research. So we're gonna go with the more visitors. More visitors means more money. And then let's collect these things. I'll just collect those at the end of the round. You can actually collect them during the round too. And then small painting. That's for decorations. All right, so do we have enough for another room yet? Not yet. All right, so rooms are pretty damn expensive. But what we can do is we can put an energy one here too. So now people will go so and spend their money on energy drinks, which is good. That also helps with a little bit of our rating here as well. So let's go at it. All right, that seemed to have brought up our our money making there quite a bit. We got 255 that round. So let's uh, do a couple more days and hopefully we can put it in a third room. All right, so now we got this one here. That's more visitors. That's good. All right, let's go choose the next one. Uh, we can choose souls for money, which we don't have enough for. Let's, uh, Let's go with prestige. Why not? All right, let's do another another day. Perfect. He died. Give us your soul. Oh, there we go. Perfect. 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 All right, so we got nine hundred and eighty-five bucks. Um, I'm gonna try just to loop around. So then, hopefully, we can start to. These were 8 by 8 rooms, right? Alright, so I can't afford that room yet. I need 600 or something. So I need another 1,000 bucks. So let's go until we get uh, well over 1,000 bucks and we'll just let them keep doing this. Oh, look, a loot goblin. You gotta kill this thing. There, nice. I gained loot. Oh, that's sick. That's pretty cool. I was always wondering what they actually looked like. I didn't see them before, but now I actually know what they look like now. Prestige unlocked. There we go. So that's going to help with our <clears throat> our prestige, I guess, for the how people feel towards our 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 dungeon. <laughs> All right, let's go with. More souls, yes. More souls would be good. Alright. Another day done. Another day done. Let's collect our little tickets. A little bit of extra cash. Alright. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to add a door to this one down here. So that way we can make some more money as we go along, right? Because we want to uh, make sure we're, we're making some bucks here. Because we don't want to, we don't want to stay at like 200 and something the entire time, right? So the more we we sit up as we go, we'll be we'll be good. We'll be good. All right, so let's go summon a new monster here. <clears throat> All right, let's take the wolf. All right, perfect. So we shall put a new spawner down. We'll put him here, and then we'll take a treasure chest, flip it there. We shall add our new mob, a wolf, and let's try that out. Seems like we're killing a lot of people now, which is pretty good. I'm okay with that. And we get our new uh, upgrade. Alright, heroes, chance for heroes to drop an extra soul, that's good. So let's go here, click our tickets, click the skull, just another decoration, a little bit more money for us, that's good. 
Hmm, what do we got here? We got more rooms. Let's go with more rooms. Okay, so what do we want to do? We got 950. Let's uh let's move you guys out of the way first. We'll put you here. And we'll put you here. That's good. Then we'll get another 8x8 eight eight room. And we'll get that ready for the next area. And then we'll start. Good stuff. Good stuff. Alright, so people are still satisfied. Uh, going up there in satisfaction. What do we got here? So we got a wide painting now. We'll decorate later on and we'll make it look nice. Because every room has a beauty. And they also show you how lit every room is. And then shows you everybody's satisfaction with all the rooms and stuff like that, right? Alright, so let's um, summon a new monster. Okay, this is a slime. Uh, that could have been a good one too. He had the book. I didn't look at the book. Alright. So, now we got a slime. That's pretty good. Uh, probably won't have enough to do anything with it yet. So, we'll put a spawner here for now. And then, do we have enough for a chest? We do. Put a chest in there for now. And then we'll start. And then we'll do a day or two and we'll get this room. Well, we should be able to get this room up next run. Wow, that guy survived. He's a survivor. Alright, so we got more rooms now. That's good. Alright, so what's the next one we should work on here? Um, you can trade for a bunch of money. So souls have like multi-purpose things and you got to use them sparingly, right? If you're not like really hurting for money, don't don't spend it. Um, we'll go with a uh, defense totem. So you could spend your souls here or to get more monsters. I usually choose more monsters before I spend on the money. Then also when you look at your, your mobs, your mobs have levels. Um, and if you spend souls on your on your leveling up your mobs, your mobs get tougher. So you get three different ways to spend your souls. So you kind of have to like be sparing on what you spend them on, right? All right, so we can actually hook up this other room now. So we shall do that right now. We'll put the door here for now. Uh, what else did we? We got new rooms, right? So now we got a 12 by 12, 15, and a 13. So these are like boss rooms, which are going to be really good to get into later on. But for now, we're going to stick with the small rooms, just so that way we can uh, figure out if this loops. So all we need is one more room, and we'll find out if it's a loop thing, or if it's they choose a different way. So, as you noticed, characters will come in, they'll go to each room, they'll get to the last room, and then they backtrack because that's like the only way. And this is why I'm trying to see if there's a looping mechanic in the game. And if there is, well then we can use that to create a really big dungeon and always have them loop around and never backtrack is the goal, all right? The advantage of having lots of people and having them backtrack though, as you can see that they kind of do form groups a little bit and they do help each other out. So it does keep your death toll down a little bit, uh, not a lot, but it does keep it down a little bit. And there we go. We got another day done. We got our research complete as well. So now we got uh, the defense totems. So now I can put up defense totems in the rooms. And it'll help uh, keep the people alive. Which you got to balance it out, right? You got to balance between uh, being good and evil. Alright, so we got iron props. And we got the attack totems. Which is just the same as this one, except it gives them more attack. So we'll go that route. Why not? Um, they're pretty costly, so we just won't uh, put them down just yet. 
Uh, we only need one more room. I'd like to get another 8x8 room and then just kind of keep this what we got going on. When you delete a room, you get all your money back. So us by doing this like this, we're going to get all of our money back if I decide to delete it and change it up. So, all right, uh, let's go for another run. Beautiful, beautiful. So we got enough money to put down that extra room and put some doors in just to see if they'll loop now. We got our totem done as well. That's beautiful. The attack totem. All right, get our tickets. That unlocks us a little bit of moolah. And then what do we got? So now it's all about props, more or less. Hmm. I do have enough to do these though. Let's go with. Uh, go with the iron props. Why not? All right, so now, what do we get here? Oh, those are the totems. Let's grab the eight by eight room. Let's just throw it in here like this. Then we're gonna throw in a door. And we're gonna throw in a door. Now, I wanna see how they react. If they're just going to split up in different ways or if they're just gonna choose one way and do a loop. This is the the big moment. What are you going to choose? Okay, they're all choosing to go to the right. Well, those two did anyways. Oh, that guy went the other way. Okay, so we can give them multiple choice. And then they're going to go a certain route. Okay. That's interesting. So there's no no real looping. You just kind of like choose either left or right. <clears throat> so that gives us an option though. Do we do like a left right choice and then always have it loop around so that way they either finish on the left or the right. This does split people up quite a bit. <clears throat> Don't think a lot of people died that round. So there you go. They'll go around and then they'll leave, or they'll go around and then they'll leave. Okay. Okay. See, dark, darker rooms will cause heroes to walk slower walk and axe lord so this is going to be phase one of this massive dungeon we're going to do a double split we won't do three i think three will get really complicated to try to figure out um how they're all going to loop around so what we'll do is we'll eventually do double rooms all like this going on both sides so every time we expand we got to make sure that we're doing two rooms so either two rooms on this side or two rooms on this side. And then that's going to extend it sideways wise. And then <clears throat> in order to get it to go up, well, what we'll do is we'll have this room split in half where this, these ones from this side will end up going this way. And these guys will end up going this way, but then they'll always meet around and kind of like, you know, be able to loop and then right at the very end that's when they're going to be able to crisscross is that like maybe a boss room or something and then come back throughout the other way it's going to be it's going to be something but uh, i think we're going to be able to make this work all right so let's go and do a couple of days we can uh, get a new mob in here and uh, have this loop uh, kind of going so here's the next one we got the iron stuff unlocked just thinking about uh, what I was saying earlier about uh, once we get to the middle here. Well, the middle will always be something like this, I think. We're going to have to always kind of like work our way back snake words wise. So, yeah, I mean, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be interesting. <laughs> uh, but we'll make it work. We'll make it work. All right. So what we unlocked here was iron this. We got a lectern. And we got uh, iron urn. So if you're putting urns and pots in the air, you're just giving them extra places for loot. But uh, I won't too worry much about that. 
at the moment until we start doing double mobs. So one thing I'm going to do for now is I'm going to do this. And then we can put a wooden chest here. And then that makes this our normal room, right? Uh, what else we got? We can get iron chests. Then we just put more loot in the chests. Alright, let's do that. Then, um, let's start planning out a different room. So we'll stick with these 8x8 eight eight rooms, maybe? Or go we'll start using these 8x10 rooms. Yeah, I think that would be good. Because then we could take up two widths the entire way. Alright, so we'll plan... Those are 800 bucks a room. All right, so we got a few days to go by here. Um, actually, let's, we got quite a bit of souls here. So let's trade in our souls. There, we got some money to do some stuff with. Um, eventually, you're going to have to give them a break, uh, a restroom, but we haven't unlocked that yet, so we won't worry too, too much about that yet. So we'll do that here, and or is that going to screw it up? Let's do an 8x8 eight eight here. <clears throat> yeah, we'll do that pattern going all the way down. Alright, so those are going to be our two next rooms. So we'll have to wait till we get some more cash to do something, so let's let a couple of days go by. Another research done. We got iron chest now. Beautiful. Alright, so first of all, I did notice that I left this chest in this room. So we can just repurpose that chest over here. That's fine. So now we get the iron chests. These ones hold more loot. So if we put more monsters in a room or make them tougher, well, there'll be more loot in here. They're just also a lot more expensive right now, but we're not going to worry about that. So we are going to go with more monsters. Damn straight. And this one here adds a chance for monsters to spawn as lucky, which drops more gold when killed by visitors. Alright, I think that would be a good one to go by. Alright, so now we do have this. So let's go and spawn a new monster. Uh, this one maybe? I don't think we have. Nice. That's a wraith. That's beautiful. Alright, now we do have enough money for a spawner. So we can put you here. And then... We can add the wraith. For now, I guess we'll let people go into the room so that way they can experience it. And we'll add some lighting. There you go. So at least people can go in there and fight that room. It does give them an extra room to, you know, an extra choice. And then eventually we'll hook up this room here and then they can continue on. Another thing I did notice is this is running out of um, potions when people are going in and buying the potions. So eventually we'll have to set up another room where they can buy more potions and stuff before they continue which I find is usually every fourth room is a good choice. So what we might do is we might delete this room here and put another one like that right here. So that way they come back, get more stuff, continue on their adventure, spend more money. All right, good stuff. So what we'll do is we're gonna temporarily repurpose this guy here. He will come over here now. We'll grab his chest. Put that one there. Grab a door. Right here. And here. Let's grab some lighting. There we go. Okay, so now what we'll do is we'll add some dispensers here. And, oh, so we'll have to let another, another round go. And then we'll put in another dispenser here. So that way they can spend more money. Another day is done, so one thing we're going to do here is we're going to get rid of this door. So 
so we can get the money back for that. So this way the loop is like this. Uh, we do have enough money now to put in a new dispenser. So we'll put that one in. This one's 250. I'm probably going to end up putting at least another one of each in all of these rooms. So then that way uh, they're, they're spending lots of money. So let's uh, hit that up again. Perfect, perfect. So now we got a chance for the mobs to drop more loot, which is good. And more loot means more money that they can spend. All right, ancient spawners. This is pretty good because this makes the mobs spawn back faster, which is a good thing. And then that way the guys are spending more time fighting and all that crap. So we'll go with there. Um, I did notice that these rooms were a little dark. So we'll go and put those in right away. Now, I think the next set of rooms we're going to work on are the two over here. So then that way we can have the loop kind of go like this. So, but I want them spending more money. So let's put in another dispensary here. And let's go for another day. Perfect. Uh, wish there were more monsters to kill. Wish the, yeah, if that guy wouldn't have bought four healing potions, everybody probably would have had healing potions. <laughs> <laughs> all right so they're complaining about not enough monsters all right so we are gonna have to get some more more monsters out there i do want to put um oops one more of these out there though there we go now we'll save up for our rooms another amazing research complete this one we'll slowly start implementing later on once we start making a lot more money next here a third eye ability to preview okay so this is one i really want we're definitely going to go to that um because when we are buying monsters you see these green orbs well when we're summoning them and we summon them well those green orbs well those orbs will appear on top and i'll be able to see the rarity of the ones that we have because in the bestiary you have like certain mobs for certain areas and these are the ones that we've collected so far. And then you're going to see that this one is like a boss spider. Well, not a, it's a hard version spider. This one should be green. This one's probably going to be um, a common one. And this is another common one as well, I think. But yeah. Nice. Now we'll be able to tell the rarity of the monsters that we choose, which is good. Now, what do we got here? Ancient chests and a grouping table. And yeah, may as well just go up this way and finish that way off. I'll end up doing all 100% anyways. Alright, so we can, in the meantime, so those are the ancient ones. Uh, let's put in our 10x8 room. And then we'll put in our 8x8 room. There we go. And then we'll just wait till more money. Very good, very good. Got a new uh, new chest, an ancient chest. These would be good for like boss rooms or whatever. All right, so let's go for the souls. I don't mind that. All right, so let's research two more monsters. Uh, yeah, so if you see these diamonds on the side, uh, it means that they're being used. So that way you always know which ones are being used or not. Alright, so this is the one with a book. We don't have this one. And then we'll do one more. Oh, we got all three. Um, let's take that one for now. But then we can get rid of it. So we know with this one here, we can destroy it. Summon a new monster. Uh, this one I don't think we have. Perfect. Alright, so now let's get these two rooms up and running. Uh, let's go here. That's our ancient chest. It looks pretty nice. So let's just do normal spawners because they cost less. So we'll put uh, you here and you here. Grab a cheap chest for now. And we'll put a 
cheap chest there. We need want to light these rooms up. And then we'll want to put a door in each of these rooms. Go here and here. And we'll delete this door this time, right? That's good. Then we got to put our new monsters in. So we got a goblin on this side. And we got our cobalt on that side. Perfect. That's pretty good. Um, we got 45 bucks left. So let's see how people enjoy this. So far, everybody's been going to the right here. I don't know if this is like purpose now on how it's being programmed, but uh, we're actually getting a, oh, this guy went to the left. Hmm. So we got one guy that went to the left, but everybody else went to the right. <laughs> oh, they all came looping around. Oh, I forgot to put the door here, that's why. Nice. Uh, this one's not bad. Uh, it means we're going to have to start making restrooms and stuff like that, but that's okay. I did forget to put one thing in here last time, which was a door. Uh, so now we actually have a loop going around. Uh, yeah. So that's why people were probably always going to the right, because I had more choice of rooms. Anyway, let's keep going. And we have a chance to get more souls when we kill people. That's really good. Alright. Here's a heal. Yeah, because people are probably buying them all. Let's get some more monsters. Uh, camping spot would be good. Alright, so let's work on trying to get a camping spot next. Because now we have to give the people a place to rest. And like I said, every four rooms. So... The rest spots are going to change, I guess, as we as we make it towards the end. Um, that way I can keep it every four rooms. So eventually it's going to be like one, two, three, four, and on the fifth room will be a rest spot, and then it'll be the same thing on the way back. Alright. Um, can we do anything else really at the moment? No, let's just save our money. Alright, so spend. Uh, let's spend a little bit of money here. So I'm going to put another one of each one of these here. And I'm going to put another one of those there. And let's go through a couple of days. Because people are buying these like crazy. Nice, we got the camping spot now. That's very good, very good. So now, uh, I guess we'll go for the grouping table. Get up over there. We got 800 bucks. So we made like 600 bucks that round. That was pretty good. That was all due to mainly these things here. So this is the camping spot. We'll have to figure out uh, a way to put these in here. But we need more money right now. Very nice. Now we can start making the people form groups if we want to. That way they can go through the dungeon as a group as to oppose of uh, being by themselves. So what do we got here? So we did get the stone floor, some money, and a tall painting. So that's one of the things that we got. We got a boss door. I might as well get that one over and done with. Alright, so now we can afford to make a couple of rooms here. So let's go with a 10x8. And then our... 8x8 eight eight. and what we'll do in this one we'll put a door here at the bottom sure um, and we'll put a light here and a light here we will put a door here I guess I could have just moved that one, really. Honestly. It's too late now, though. Alright, so that's done. Actually, I could have used it there for crying out loud. 
Yeah, that's where I needed it. Okay, so now the people can walk in here, walk in there, walk around, go through here, go up there. And there's no doors on that side. Perfect. All right, so this one here, we will put a mob in this one. So we'll have to summon a new mob. And this one up here, we're going to make it into a campsite. Um, we'll put one here like this and one here like that. I think that would be good. And then what we'll do is eventually we'll try to put uh, some machines in here. At least two machines, one on each side. Like two health ones and two... Um, I can actually just repurpose these ones right here, right? That way people aren't taking them right off the bat. Uh, we can do something like this. That way they can get some health potions and stuff like that. Alright, so we do need to summon the other mob. I think we have enough. Alright, I'll take a bat. Because I think the other two that we have... Or do we have the rat yet? I don't think we took the rat yet. No, we didn't. Alright. That's good. So, the rat is right here. I believe we have just about everything now. We're just missing, yeah, the big the big red spider. So that'll be the last one that we are looking for in there. Alright. Um, I don't have a chest in that room, though. This round. So... We'll have no no money loot for that that guy right there. That's fine. All right, we'll put it in the next round. All right, let's put in that uh, chest up here, so that way people have uh, some money opportunity to gain from that. And let's keep going. Uh, yeah. And you see how people go here and they rest and they get uh, they fill up their yellow bar. Um, every character has like a yellow bar. The yellow bar is how tired they are. And when they get to rest at these places, while well, that yellow bar is replenished, which is nice. Beautiful. We got ourselves a dungeon door. Ball store. Nice. What's the next thing? Uh, I got a fancy table. Sure, why not? We'll just try to keep things going and then we'll work our way this way afterwards. Uh, Means well we'll grab some money too, since we can afford the souls. And then speed totem, that's cool. Alright, good stuff, good stuff. Uh, anything else we can really do? Not really. What do we get here? That's the new boss door, that's cool. All right, we'll uh, we'll run this last research and <coughs> very nice. And we got the fancy table now, the fancy table, fancy tavern table. All right, good stuff. What's going to be the next one here? Okay, so that's all done on that side up there. Let's go with wooden decorations, and we'll work whatever is up that way. All right, so that's where we're going to call this episode. We did pretty good today. We ended up getting just about all the normal mobs on the first one. We're just missing the, uh, the cave spider kind of thing. And then I think we start getting into the different types of fiery mobs afterwards. Uh, order, order, in order to get them, we'll have to unlock these right here. So we're going to need quite a bit of money in order to get those next summons. So that's why I'm kind of like saving up money too. But at the same time too, I want to get that other spider and maybe reconfigure this a little bit. Um, so these rooms are very like movable, like we can end up moving the entire room to somewhere else. So that way when it comes time to separating different types of um, I have mobs or whatever, so we'll end up doing like this side will be like the cave mobs, this side will be like fire mobs or something like that. And we'll kind of like, you know, do something like that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, everybody. Like, subscribe, peace, take care, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.